hello good morning this morning how are you how was the night i hope you had a good night rest like i did and that you woke up with a very very bright smile praise the lord praise master jesus shall we quickly say a wonderful word of prayer shall we just thank god before we set up on what we're going to read today and hear what god has for us let's thank god for it father i just want to thank you this morning i give you praise to god for another beautiful wonderful marvelous day for this is the day that you've given unto us we will rejoice and be glad in it father we come into your presence with thanksgiving our heart I pray the blood of Jesus over everyone that will be listening. Take all glory and honor, Father. Be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, I don't have a format. Yeah. The format I have is the word of God. The format I have is keep your smile going. The format I have is Jesus. So whatever he says every morning, However he leads me, I go. So let's go straight away and begin to read our memory verses. These memory verses, they are the most exciting verses I've come across of recent in the Bible. Every verse in the Bible is exciting. If you allow the Lord to open your eyes to see what is in there. Amen. <laughs> wow. Let's read Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. He says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. And we know that we have a version that says, For I know the plans that I have for you. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's read it. I like reading it in the basic English version. Jeremiah chapter chapter 29, verse 11. Where is our verse 11? Yeah? Verse 11. Okay, let's read the basic English version. Praise the Lord. There we are. It says, For I am conscious of my thoughts towards you. God knows what he's thinking, his plans. And they are plans of good because God does not think evil. I'm conscious of my thoughts towards you, about you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future, a hope at the end. The English Standard Version. I like reading all of them so that you can have praise and you can take them. He said, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans of welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. And what hope that is, a great hope. And our second memory verse, as we know, is taken from the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter 1, verse 7, which says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So this morning, you are starting off with a sound mind. You are starting off with power, with love, and with sound mind in your heart. Amen. And straight away, we are going to go and read our verse for today. Or fear not and remembering always that the reason we do not fear, that we cannot fear, that we should walk in boldness is because we fear God. It's because we fear the Lord. Amen. The Lord has an obligation towards those that fear him. He has an obligation towards those that honor his name. So if you do not fear God, you do not honor him. God has no obligation. If he does it, it is just out of his marvelous mercy towards you. Know it today. We are reading this morning, Genesis chapter 43, verse 23. Wow. Wow. I love it. Praise the Lord. And I hear somebody say, you love everything, as long as it is the Bible. Oh, yes, I love it. As long as it is the Bible, I love it. Because it is the word of God. And it is the word of God that gives us life. Now I'm going to read Jeremiah, um, Genesis chapter 43, verse 23. We've we'll read it before together with other verses. But today we are staying only on the verse because God is reminding us. Now, 
everything has passed, COVID-19 has reduced, and it's coming back again. God is saying, do not fear. Do not be afraid. Don't let anything shake your heart. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Keep your fear of God in your heart, in your spirit. Walk in this. He says, but he said, peace be with you. Do not be afraid. Your God and the God of your father has given you treasure in your sacks. I had your money. Then he brought Simeon out to them. Praise the Lord. Now this is, um, I'm just opening another version to read. This is, this is, uh, what is his name? Uh, Joseph talking to his brothers and telling his brothers not to worry because he had set them up to see if they were honest men. And not only were they honest men, they came back with the money that he had set them up with and came back with double. Thank God for the wisdom of, uh, of their father. Thank God for the wisdom that Jacob had. And look at what he says. He said, peace be, I want you to, I want to stop on two things here today. Peace be with you. Let's make it three. One, peace be with you. Do not be afraid. Your God and the God of your father has given you treasure in your bag. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Let me read it from the English Standard Version if it is different. It says, and it says, Peace be to you, do not be afraid. Your God and the God of your father has put treasures in your sack. Let's read it from the basic English if it is different. <laughs> I love this version. You will like it yourself. It says, Then the servant said, said Peace be with you. Have no fear. Your God, even and even the God of your father, has put wealth in your back for you. Has put wealth in your bags for you. Now, I want to explain something. You know, these were people that didn't have the fear of God. Even though they were children of Jacob and they had been taught like Joseph to have fear of God, they didn't bother about it. They couldn't care less. They did whatever they wanted. That was why they hated their brother so much. Praise the Lord. I've got something in my eye. They hated their brother so much that they couldn't stand the sight of him. So they had to sell him. They actually wanted to kill him. But they sold him. And after many, many years, lo and behold, without knowing they are standing before the same brother they sold. The same brother they cast away. Has somebody cast you away? Have you been sold? Have you been given up for useless, hopeless, and anything? Relax. God has a plan for you. God will bring you out. Keep your eyes on the Lord. And that is by the wayside. Let's come back to this. By now, they have learned to fear God, to keep the fear of the Lord in their heart. They have learned to become honest men. They have learned to listen to the word of God that their father was teaching them. And the fear of God has been instilled into them. So now they walk in the fear of God. So when they discover that, you know, their money was back in their sacks, they were scared. So when they were to go back, they said, no, father, we are not going back unless we have enough money to return to this man. And the father said, you know what? You take money. Take money for what you are going to buy and take double money and return to the man. <laughs> Not knowing that was to his son. But here is what the servant says. He said, peace be to you. So this morning, my word from God to you is, the word of God to, for, uh, through me to you is, peace be unto you. Peace be with you. The peace of God that passes all understanding be with you in the name of Jesus. Then they said, he said to them again, do not be afraid. Again, the word of God through me to you is do not be afraid peace be with you do not be afraid do not be scared do not fear anything but keep the fear of god in your heart and the third word for you is this for god the god and father of our lord jesus christ has put a treasure in your bag 
the God and Father of our Lord Jesus from this place has put wealth in your bags. That wealth comes out by the reason of the fear of God. Will you begin to walk in the fear of God? Will you begin to honor God with your life from today? For God has put wealth in your bag. And if somebody opened the bag, don't worry, you will find it. Today, as God lives, you will find a miracle. As God lives, something great will happen to you. As God lives, you will hear good news in the name of Jesus. As God lives, where you thought that it was all over, God will open the door and it will start again. And until your victory is assured, no conclusion will be concluded in the name of Jesus. As God lives, you will be blessed today. And you will know it at the end of today that you have been blessed. As God lives, mercy will reign on you because our God is a merciful God. As God lives, have you seen? I pray for mercy of God upon your life. That your sins be forgiven you in the name of Jesus. As God lives... God, by the blood of Jesus, will show you mercy. The peace of God will rest with you. That you will not be afraid of anyone or anything, but fear God only. And the treasure that God has put in your bag, the wealth that God has put in your bag, you will discover it today and you will run with it in Jesus' mighty name. Are you there? You have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Shall we pray? Just ask, you see, it's a very simple thing. God has made it so simple. All you need to do is to ask Jesus into your life. Invite him. Tell him that from today you will serve him. That he will be the Lord of your life. Say, Jesus, I know you died on the cross for my sins. I confess that I have been a sinner because I didn't know. Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I ask for mercy. I thank you because you died on the cross for me and you rose again on the third day and you are alive forevermore. Jesus, I give you my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. From today, I will follow you, I will serve you, and I will serve no other God. Thank you, Jesus, for accepting me. Amen. By praying that prayer, do you know that you are transferred? You prayed with a sincere heart and you are transferred immediately from the kingdom of the devil to the kingdom of God. Because we are in two kingdoms. You are either in the kingdom of God. There are two kingdoms. You are either in the kingdom of God or the kingdom of the devil. There are, there's no in between. You see that you are fully with God or you are fully with the devil. There's no one leg there, one leg here. If you put one leg there, one leg here, God is going to throw it out. The devil is going to pull you in. So be with God, shall we pray? And so precious Father, in the name of Jesus, I just want to thank you for your word. I thank you this morning for everyone that is watching, will watch and ever watch this video. Lord, I thank you for your mercy over their lives, God. Even according to your word that we just read in the book of Genesis, Father, I pray that your peace will rest upon everyone in the name of Jesus, especially those that just confess Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Father, I cover their confession with the blood of Jesus. I seal their salvation with the blood of Jesus. I put the mark of Jesus upon them. May stamp upon their forehead that these ones they belong to Jesus. They will never go back to the world in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, faithful Father, I thank you for these ones, oh God. I say it is well with them, oh God. It is well with their going out and with their coming in. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I ask, oh Father, for the blessings of this money over their lives, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, even according to your word, Lord, let the treasure that you have put in their bags, hey Lord, the wealth of God, the goodness of God, the, the, the welfare that you have put in their bags this morning. Let it be revealed to them, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for open doors, oh God. I pray for breakthroughs uh, for everyone watching this video. In the name of Jesus, I see somebody lifting up their hands to so say amen, amen. Receive your breakthrough, your miracle in Jesus' name. I see, uh, yes, yes, give, give, put in your hand uh, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Father, let that gift be released to everyone watching this video in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord, as I see their lives with the blood of Jesus. I thank you for peace in their home, peace in their marriage, peace over their children, peace in their jobs, peace in their businesses, peace, oh Lord, over their community in the name of Jesus. And I say thank you, Father, because you always answer prayers. You answer me every time I call upon you. Thank you, Father, once again for answering this prayer. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, wonderful people. Remember, you are a child of God, the child of the Most High God. So be blessed and highly encouraged. Do not be afraid. Don't fear for peace is with you this morning. Peace is with you today according to the word that we have read. And remember that God loves you. God loves you. God loves you unconditionally. He loves you recklessly and he loves you relentlessly. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. And I love you too. And one more time, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And God will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Keep smiling. Walk in the consciousness of what God has planned for you today. That he has released his peace for you. And that you do not need to be afraid but to keep the fear and honor of God in your heart. And that there is a treasure, a wealth in your bag. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Amen.